Good afternoon, Gary Pace, Public Health Officer, Lake County. It's Wednesday, May 13th, and this is the coronavirus update. So as of today, there's 72,000 cases in California, 2,900 deaths. In Sonoma County, there have been approximately 10 new cases a day, and they had one death earlier this week, as did Napa County. In Lake County, we've had no more cases. We're still at eight cases, all of which have recovered and are no longer on isolation. And I want to remind people that when people get off isolation, they're not considered contagious and you don't need to worry anymore. So the big news is the changes in the orders. As of last Friday, we aligned the Lake County orders completely with the governor's orders. He, at that point, allowed all the counties to move forward into what he's calling stage two, which is where low risk businesses can begin to open up. The first step of this was that uh, some small retail businesses can take online and phone orders and do curbside pickup. Then you can apply for an accelerated opening plan, which we are in the process of doing. And once you get that, then according to the plan, certain other businesses can open. The most important business that's gonna be able to change is restaurants. There are some other ones and you can check on the website for that. As we get our plan completed, we're gonna put it in front of the Board of Supervisors on Tuesday and hopefully get it submitted to the state by about a week from now. Probably it will go into effect in two weeks. The, if businesses wanna apply for this, they can go ahead on the website, get the paperwork and go through and come up with a demonstration plan on how they're gonna be able to keep their workers and their customers safe. There's a uh, certification sign that you'll be able to pick up once you complete your plan, get it from the either, the either of the cities or from the Chamber of Commerce, and you can post it in your business. We are basically setting this up to have a, be a self-certification. The businesses will self-certify, and if there are complaints of people that don't feel safe or they don't feel like the businesses are keeping up with what they promise, then they'll make a complaint and we'll send an inspector out to help educate the business about how to do the, do the right thing. So we're moving along. We're excited about the progress we're making. We want everybody to stay safe. So if there does seem to be a surge in cases, we will have to consider putting more restrictions back on or going back to a complete shelter in place situation like we've been at before. Hopefully everybody will continue to do the right thing, wear the masks, and keep social distancing and so that uh, we won't have a lot of transmission in the county, we'll be able to keep moving forward. Another thing to emphasize is that when these orders do go into place, we will be putting a mandatory masking in place. That's my intention. So this is the way to try to help people stay safe as we're releasing some of the restrictions. It's really important to keep the vulnerable people in the community safe so that there's not a lot of illness and death and so that the hospitals don't get overwhelmed. So we appreciate all your cooperation in this. We know it's been a really tough time and we're excited to be moving forward. Thank you.